Right, we're going into town because this young lady is getting excited because she wants to put the Christmas decorations up. So we ended up getting a Christmas tree and we were lucky we bought it when we did, weren't we Mel? We didn't make the mistake the last year. The price is up now. Yeah, the prices are nearly double in some cases. So uh, we're pretty proud of ourselves, we got it uh, cheaper. So, we go find something. It's, pack it's a package. Yeah. It's your daughter, I think. Who? It's your daughter. My daughter? I don't think so. Yeah, we got it as a package. And the Christmas lights here are really cheap. They're like 100 pesos. Then, you want that? What is it, babe? Sweet. No, babe. I'm going to get some. Um, some show my. I keep trying to get seriously on my juicing diet, guys. My but, mom did not go but I can't. Yeah, mum stopped uh, cooking banana. And sometimes she doesn't even cook in the morning, does she? My mum, yeah. Well, what's oh, it? She doesn't cook on a Monday morning. Monday long. Oh, it's only Friday Monday. What about yeah. Sunday? Yeah. No. Uh, anyway, a couple of comments on the last video, the christening video. I made a comment about I'm not overly religious and if it was up to me I wouldn't be doing the christening and I did it just for you and of course I'm thinking well as they get older the, the they can decide whether they want to follow the religion or not but what people forget is the Catholic religion is pretty serious as probably most religions are whereby when your baby's christened you normally get asked will you bring them up in the Catholic faith and teach them this that and the other blah 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 so from my perspective it seems a bit hypocritical for me to, to put to get my daughter christened and my son and then not do so and one person said you come to the Philippines stop trying to change the culture <laughs> which is pretty amazing but there you go so I've got no problem with having my kids baptized really because that's what my wife wants and I love her and I love the kids as I keep saying so it's no big deal you know so I just uh, thought I'd mention that because um, just to point out to the people that made the comments which was only two I think that you know it's it's not a big deal it's not a big thing Oh, we'd like to uh, just mention William Box. Yeah, thank you, William. He uh, sent us a pizza. Yeah. Well, as usual. He, he, as usual. And he's, well, it's actually three pizzas, isn't it? So thanks very much, William. How's the diet? It's not going very well because there's always food going off, isn't there? So, another thing, I got a message. Well, I got actually three messages from a guy, from guys. Two weren't, weren't so good. But one was mentioning, if I, I, I'm very envious of you, Chris. I wish I'd met a lovely woman and blah, 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 and come to the Philippines. But, but I've got a couple of health issues, not life-threatening, but, you know, I need to take tablets and this, that, and the other. And it got me thinking, what if you come and you pay for a carer? Found yourself. Yeah. What? They can hire me as a caregiver. They can hire you as a caregiver? Yeah, because when I was looking girl, that's my adult. Look up there. I want to work in abroad and look up there for Did you? Did your mum not ever tell you to not speak with your mouth full? Can you just repeat that? I don't know if my 
Well, no, because the, the video will be over by the time you finish that. When I was a single, that's my dream. When you were single? Caregiver. A caregiver and then work to abroad and look after the two people there. Really? But I don't need to go, I, but I, now I don't need to go to abroad because you're here already. I was going to say, well, you, you're caregiving this old man, aren't you? So what are you actually saying then? Are you saying if, if there's one yeah, of... If there's a, if a, uh, some, someone's there, you can come and, you can come here in the Philippines and you can hire the best of So if... It, it gonna be depends to you if you gonna let me to look after them. Well, yeah, I don't see why not. Really? Yeah. Never thought about it, really. So what you're saying is, if, if, there's a, if there's a subscriber out there who's thought of coming to the Philippines but has been put off by the fact that, you know, he, he might have a couple of health conditions and he's a bit yeah. scared and yes. he's got nobody to help him. So what would you include in this caregiver? What would he have to do? Just the feed. we've got here is failure to communicate to do. so if somebody was serious and wanted to come are you serious by the way because i never know when you're serious or not yes i'm serious Just, no seriously are you yeah, serious, serious. Yes. so what you're saying if somebody come over here what i will do everything you like do everything this, uh, yeah <laughs> what are you laughing at because I know what's in your mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can get yourself out the gutter. I didn't think any of that. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of what you're gonna, what service you're gonna provide. Prepare food. <laughs> Visa, whatever. Visa, so you, whatever he needs to do, he, no need to worry, because you'll do everything for him. Yeah. Right. But not everything. Not everything. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I get what you're going at. <laughs> so yeah, seriously, guys, it sounds like she's serious. Yeah, I'm serious, guys. That's that's that's, that's what I want before when I was single. Mm -hmm. And he can trust you, can't he? Yeah. Yeah. Me and Annie as well. Me and Annie. And Annie, yeah. That's interesting. I didn't think you'd come out with that. Um, the other thing that jumped into my head was I know a lot of um, guys my age have got Filipinas near enough their own age or around their own age, and that's fine. I'm not. I'm not saying there's anything Wait, wrong with speaking that. Speaking about the what you mentioned about the she have, um, they had a um, medical issue. Yeah. They're taking lots of tablets. Yeah. You think it's good for them? Take medicine. Well, because, because I remember we go to doctor before because you're having a trouble about your um, cholesterol and then blood high, pressure. Yeah, high blood pressure. And then yeah. you have uh, you, know, you already take that medicine, but it's nothing work. If the right. no, the the blood pressure tablets weren't working, yeah. but. It, Somebody told me about the lung guy. I didn't know what it was, but yeah. Mel knew what it was. And I started taking my lung guy and the um, cayenne pepper, and within about three days, my blood pressure was normal. Okra. Huh? Okra. Okra as well, yeah, I do okra. But yeah. unfortunately, I'm eating other stuff as well that I shouldn't be eating. Yeah. I wonder how well they've done, Mel. Seem to have a lot of uh, sodas left. So we'll come into town. I've got to get some hooks and what have you for the the lights because she wants lots of lights up. I'm not sure about Christmas tree decoration because I'm not so good at that. I'm not arty. Yeah, no, but can't you get um, Annie to help you? No, I can, I can do it. You can do it? Yeah. Oh. Really? How many trees have you decorated? There's only one. Oh, okay. 
So look, new Sari Sari store, another eatery. As usual. As usual. Yeah, anyway, this guy who shall remain nameless, we'll call him John. He sent me a message and I replied to him. I was a bit interested about his, uh, you know, his background and how long he'd been to the Philippines, as I am with everybody. I always ask these questions when I see people or I'm, I'm typing to them. It's like an interrogation, I guess. But I just like, I like to know about, you know, people's backgrounds and the good and the bad when they've come to the Philippines. And this guy, again, I felt really sorry for him. He'd been here seven years and he lost a lot of money through trying to run businesses. And long story short, his wife, he's got two kids by the way, here. He's back in the UK. Um, his wife bought a scooter, or rather he bought a scooter for his wife and she ended up having a fatal accident on it so uh, at that point I guess that's when he had to go back to the UK which brings me on to what I was going to say you get a wife of your own age and I've never thought about this before and it, yeah, it might, might be a bit silly to some but I keep saying to Mel, or rather Mel keeps saying to me when I go on about dying and you know making sure she's okay and all that and she gets mad at me and she keeps saying I'll die before you but what's the chances of that? She's 32, I'm 58. Now my point is and I know I, I'm going round <laughs> the roundabout but if you marry somebody closer to your age in the Philippines or any Asian country that's similar to the Philippines where you can't own land and if you split with your wife or she dies you go back to tourist visa the chances are she might die before you but if you marry somebody and I'm not saying a lot I'm not I'm just talking aloud right but in, let's talk about me and Mel. What's the chances of Mel dying before me? None. So I'm, I'm pre pretty safe. You what, babe? Accident. Well, unless you had an accident, yeah, but God forbid. Don't throw yourself in front of anything, will you? So I just thought that was interesting, you know? But anyway, guys, like I said, it looks like Mel's serious, are you, Mel? Yeah, I'm serious. So if there's any foreigners want to come here, just one, or do you want to look after more than one? Yeah. More than one? I will find someone that can help well. Yeah. So she'll get probably Annie to help. So if there's any foreigners want to come here that wouldn't have normally come, we can, don't or rather Mel will sort don't everything Don't be scared out. as well. Yeah, don't, don't be scared. No, because Mel is, She's really good. Really? Yeah. She will look after you. So I guess that's it. I'm not bored them with the video of the shop we're going into. So it's over to you, babe. Please hit the like button and please subscribe and share, share our, our videos. videos. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into 